today on Chronic and Coffee. I'm going to a place that I had never knew before I lost my mind but I flew right by on the back of a pissed off unicorn A sold out show on Mars, tell me where the fuck have you performed I'm a player in this game but I refuse to wear the uniform I'm going to a place that I had never knew before I lost my mind but I flew right by on the back of a pissed off unicorn A sold out show on Mars, tell me where the fuck have you performed I'm a player in this game but I refuse to wear the uniform I'm at the top of this earth shit, the nerds can call me Venusaur Fuck the beat to my penis sore, running right back to the base for more I'm leaving this earth on a dick-shaped spacecraft I made a crash landing in Uranus on a way past Hopped out my moon boots, don't worry buck, it's a new you Saw Tupac in a tutu with a cucumber and a tuba loop Chased me down with a ray gun, but I shot back like you, you Hit him in the chest right through the vest and I jumped in the- Welcome to Chronic and Coffee with Frankus Gray Alright, welcome back to Chronic and Coffee with Frankus Grimm uh, you heard the song at the bit at the beginning. That's my next guest. It's uh, Buckshot Kill It. Uh, say what's up, dude. Hey, what's going on, man? Not much, man. I'm glad to have you on. I just uh, a homie of ours, I guess, with in common. Seeing seeing Red Again beats. Uh, you know who you are out there, Michael. Uh, gave me the info. Uh, checked out your shit. Really like it, dude. Is there a movement going on, in Montana? What's where's all this talent coming from, man? time actually it's just it seems that as of lately it's starting to get a little bit more recognition but yeah people have been doing it out here a long time and they've been doing it really well for a long time too yeah that's what i've seen i mean i'm kind of you know i'm just now finding out about you through uh through the one guy that i stumbled across and man i like it there's another guy i'm hoping to have on after this one um who's from the same kind of area out there in montana man you guys are doing it uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself real quick, if you don't mind, to the people listening. Oh, uh, yeah, this is uh, Buckshot Kill It. I'm from Bozeman, Montana, and I make hip-hop music. Yeah, and well, well, from what I've heard, it's, it's, he makes it well. Hey, uh, you have a great sound, man. Is this something that came natural to you, or have you been working on this for a while, or how did you come um, about finding out that you had the talent to, to, to make music like this? Crazy man, so you you started out punk and uh, were you singing then or playing guitar or what? Oh no, I just uh, I was always interested in starting a punk band. Never followed through with it just because oh. I knew that you know none of you. my friends were gonna be reliable enough. So I, see. I just I started messing around with a uh, with a microphone and I don't know just writing. And now this is what it is. So you um. So I don't know how, how long you've been doing this, but uh, what's the hardest part that you find, if you find it hard at all, I don't know, uh, of as far as like pushing what you're trying to accomplish or your dream or whatever and put it out there for everybody else to hear? What's the hardest part or, you know, a difficulty for you that you've come across so far, if any? Uh, I would say the hardest part is getting somebody to actually listen or share it or basically just give a shit just because, you know, they're like, oh, you know, white boy from Montana, oh, this is going to be the wackest shit ever. I think I'm talking about, like, gangster shit and stuff, yeah. but it's totally not that. And as soon as they actually give it the time, you know, if they take the time to listen, then their opinion totally changes 90% of the time. 90% of the time. So do you think uh, that the white rapper thing is still a stereotype and that that's kind of still something that we have to, um, I don't know, how do you say, break the mold or something, the expectation of Vanilla Ice or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, Eminem well, I even. I think it's getting better for anybody, for, you know, the people that actually like rap and listen to rap now, but uh, for the most part, 
people that aren't super into rap or hip hop, they're like, you know, they hear a white rapper and they're like, oh, uh, you know, they just, they just automatically tag him as like a wigger or whatever. Yeah. But as far as people that are that are already into hip hop, like they know about all these dudes now that are just killing it. That are white guys like Ritz and Yellow Wolf and shit. Ritz, yeah, I like. I've kind of starting to learn more about him. I've seen some of his uh, some of his stuff. He's good. Yeah. He makes a song, uh, White Rapper, what I just saw the other day. It's pretty sick. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so, uh, what do you got going on right now as far as uh, shows or projects, albums coming out, anything like that? Um, I just now dropped a new album on August 5th. Um, just, what is that, a little over two weeks ago. All right. And um, as far as shows go, I've been... Uh, been trying to kind of keep the shows to a minimum because I live in such a, such a small area that if I'm out there playing twice a month, then people don't want to come to the show because they're like, oh, I saw him two weeks ago, like, you know, whatever. So mm. I'm trying to space them out a little bit. But I do have one September 16th up here at a place called The Zebra. All right. Yeah. So you, you're pretty much doing uh, staying in your community, like, for now? Are you trying to branch out to other areas or – you know? Yeah, um, I take the opportunities when they present themselves, but I have a baby that's two weeks old, so oh, okay. I'm not really able to get out of town at the moment. <laughs> All right, so you got an album and a baby in the last two weeks. Yeah. Man, life's up. Life's keeping you busy, that's for sure, huh? Yeah, that's for damn sure. All right, congratulations on both of that, dude. I hope, uh, you know, I'm sure both will turn out awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um. You know, besides uh, the kid thing, do you have any, um, what's your plans for the near future if you can see any, as far as like pushing your album, you know what I mean, or getting out there and maybe branching out, doing shows, or, or you're just taking it day by day right now, I know you got, that's a big responsibility, so. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of cruising along and seeing what happens, I just got the uh, physical copies of the album in yesterday, so just kind of pushing those, the, um, the digital downloads did really well, so. You know, just kind of, I don't know, take the opportunities as they come in. All right. And uh, yeah. you want to mention some of your sites real quick? I'll throw up the links and, and text on top of the video, but go ahead and let them know where they can find some of that stuff at, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, just uh, YouTube, uh, Buckshot Kill It, or Facebook, Buckshot Kill It, uh, Reverb Nation, Bandcamp, just all over the place. You can Google it, just whatever, <laughs> it'll pop up. Yeah, just he, kill it is one word, K I L L I T. Yeah, you're not hard to find, which is cool, man. I punched in your name on the YouTube, popped right up, so that's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. You have rotation, you know what I mean? You're not un yeah. unknown. So yeah, just a couple of general questions I'd like to ask everybody. Are you uh into video games? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am. All right, what's your what uh what game you have in your system right now, and what's your Dude, favorite? I was literally this morning I was playing Banjo Tooie. Like, it's a Nintendo 64 game, but I got it on my uh, Xbox. I was playing it this morning. <laughs> nice. You like the old school shit? Yeah. All right. That's tight, man. And uh, this is Chronica Coffee. So, do you smoke? Uh, no, I don't. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I usually ask what kind of drink do you like to have on your side when you're, when you're smoking, but do you have a favorite drink while you're, let's say, recording? Um... I'd say Pat's Blue Ribbon any time of day, All right. recording or not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can feel that, man. That's sick. I got the white trash flowing through my veins. It just works. <laughs> I feel it. All right, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you taking the time out. I know you got the young one, like you said, so your day is full. You, any uh, last shout-outs real quick before we let you go? Oh, uh, man, just thank you, man. I appreciate it, and uh, I wish you the best of luck with all your podcasts and all that. Hey, thank you, man. We appreciate it. All right, word. Well, um, yeah, just hit me up whenever. I will. I'll, I got you in my contacts, man, so I'll be around for sure. Thanks again, bro. All right, later. All right, later. <laughs> All right, that was Buckshot Killer from Montana, man. Another homie from uh, added to the circle, added to the family. Um, you guys need to check him out. I'll throw up all the links. It's Reverb Nation. It's Facebook. It's Bandcamp. YouTube. It's a sick-ass uh Sick ass rapper, uh, writer, but I don't know. I didn't actually didn't ask him to uh, label himself, but it's pretty sick. Check him out. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, shout out to Seeing Red Again Beats for the hookup. That's how I met the dude. 
Um, all right, man. It's another episode of Chronic of Coffee coming at you. Peace out.